Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Showcase here on the channel. Today, we're checking out another mod that has recently updated to 1.20, being the Conjure mod. It actually just updated today, I believe. So, it's fresh off the presses, fresh off Curse Forge. Let's get into what the Conjure mod does if you've never seen it before. And if you guys have been enjoying the Mod Showcase on the channel, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and let's do this. So, for those not know, the Conjure is a magical inspired illager boss mini boss i should say um where he owns a theater in the deep roofed forest biome or the dark forest depending on which mod or which version you're playing in he has plenty of tricks up his sleeve so do not take him lightly and yes this is the theater this spawns in the dark or roof forest i think it's called dark forest now let me check yeah it's called dark forest and this pretty much isn't a easy structure to find i believe it's almost as rare as the 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 main woodland mansion itself so if you want to locate it you can use this locate command uh, under the structure command to find it if you so desire either way though there are a few drops you can actually get within this if you defeat the mini boss and i'll quickly go over sort of just the percentages of it so if you defeat the conjurer in battle he can drop two to three emeralds one conjurer hat which decreases magic damage by 30 percent to you which is really nice and you can dye it any color that you desire he can drop two to three bouncy balls which is an attack that he uses he can also drop eight to 16 throwing cards and he has a 20 percent chance to drop this new music disc called the jester guy made by a delve deeper so completely up to you if you want to take this guy on it is worth defeating him if you want to see his actual move set i have done several mob battles with him on the channel so you're welcome to check that out and here's what the hat looks like on the armor stand but let's actually check out this movie theater you get the achievement it's showtime upon entering it and what i really like about this mod creator is every update they change how the movie theater looks to add more cool things to it. like for example this was not here last time to my knowledge and it looks really nice all the armor stands with all the different pieces of armor so if you're the type of person that likes to enter with the idea of collecting different armor sets or just you're playing on a server with friends this is a good mod for you because it allows you to collect a lot of things i really love the fish tank here and i bet you if you guys aren't that good at building you'd want to actually take this place over for your home because besides the light levels being a tad low it's a really nice place uh, who would not want to live in a theater in minecraft but as you can see the place is filled with a bunch of illager themed bosses similar to what you would encounter during raids in minecraft villages even a witch is here and of course on center stage is the conjurer himself i believe he has 120 health if i recall correctly i don't have a damage indicators mod installed in 1.20 because i've yet to find one that's updated to 1.20 but he's a pretty powerful mini boss but he's not too difficult to defeat and if we go backstage here, you will notice not only is there some armor stands, some chests that you can loot right here, but there's a villager trapped in a cage for anyone who wants to have your own private villager. And what's interesting enough is there's actually a lectern at the front desk. So you can actually bring that back here and probably transform that man into a librarian mending villager. You know, before the next update of Minecraft ruins that for everyone and you aren't able to get mending villagers easily anymore. Either way. This is still a very fun place to go through and run through. And also, keep in mind, all these mobs are trapped behind here because of the uh, trap doors here. So, you can take your time attacking them. You can even cheese them right at the, the door here if you so desire. And you've even got this custom painting here, which is really, really nice. And I believe that's it for the structure. I don't think there's any, like, hidden rooms or anything specific. Because if you try to break through the back here, you're just going to end up breaking into the stage. See? So, there's really no point in doing that if you're trying to, like, get the sneak attack on them. It's just going to yield the same result. If you want to uh, pop through the roof and maybe attack them, you could try that too. But, again, it it's completely up to you. I will murder this man right now just to see if he drops anything rare. And as you can see, even with a netherite sword, it takes a minute to kill him. But once you defeat him, you will get an achievement. What a performance. And he actually did drop a bit of items. He dropped two bouncy balls, the conjurer hat, which I think is the guaranteed drop, two emeralds, and 14 throwing cards. So as for the throwing cards, you throw them like this, as you can see. They do deal damage. You can use them to murder something like a witch if you so desire. It's just going to take a lot of throwing cards to even do anything to the witch. And I think since the witch drinks potions, it's not even going to kill the witch. And then you have the bouncy balls. Really fun items. And they do actually bounce off the walls and stuff. And I believe you can collect them again, which is really nice. 
But other than that, though, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this mod showcase of the Conjure mod. If you want to check out other variations of the mod that I've reviewed in the past, they'll be linked at the top right hand corner in the cards. Or if you want to download this mod for yourself, feel free to check it out in the description down below. Keep in mind, you also will need the Structure Gel mod installed for this mod to function. It's on the same premise as the Farlanders mod that I reviewed yesterday. So just keep that in mind. You won't be able to play this unless you have the other mod installed, which all the structure mod does is literally allows mod creators to seamlessly add structures into Minecraft and have them generate perfectly without causing too much of an issue with the Minecraft world. Either way, that's going to do it for this showcase. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye.